Welcome to Ben's Ramblings. Recipes, reviews, and ramblings. Today I've got a great recipe for you. Chicken pot pie. It's a recipe my family really loves. Even my three-year-old loves it. I know that whenever I put this on the table, he's gonna eat his whole plate. Please follow me while I make this recipe. Since I had to work today, my wife prepped all the ingredients for us. I'm just gonna cook everything and show you how it all goes together. Let's get going. Let's get started with the prep. I'm gonna add some canola oil to this 12 inch stainless steel pan and we're gonna brown off the chicken. Uh, I've turned it once here and it's, it's, you know, not browned and that's not really what we want. The next batch you'll see, I'm gonna add some oil and uh, when I turn it the first time, it's got a nice brown uh, to the outside of the chicken. We're not trying to cook it through here because it'll cook when we put it in with the liquid as well as the vegetables and also it's going to go into the oven for 35 minutes afterwards. Uh, but we just want to get some flavor by browning that chicken off. So here goes that second batch of chicken. And you can tell already just by how much it's sizzling in the pan that uh, this is better. I didn't overload the pan this time. And now you can see as I flip it, that nice browning that it's gotten. And again, you want to do this in patches. I'm only showing you uh, two full batches here. I think I did this in five or six batches because it was two pounds of chicken. Okay, I'm adding some oil. We're gonna start with the vegetables. First, we start with a half a cup of diced leek. This leek was actually frozen uh, because we don't use leek that often. What we'll do is we'll buy the leeks, we'll pre-dice them and put them in the freezer uh, so that in bunches so that we have it ready to go. Then we added a half a cup of celery and then a half a cup of carrot. Those were both fresh. We're gonna use a lot of frozen vegetables here because it's easy to keep them on hand and not have to buy you know, several pounds when you only need a half a cup. We added a half a cup of frozen peas. Some people don't like peas. Here's a half a cup of green beans. If you don't like the peas, you could take it out. And three quarters of a cup of corn, and that was frozen corn. We're just gonna kinda cook this a little bit defrost it basically and we're going to add one tablespoon of thyme leaves so we're going to cook the vegetables now for about eight minutes until they're tender we'll cut to the end of that and we're going to add the chicken So then we'll mix the chicken and the vegetables up. And now we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of dry white wine. I used a Pinot Grigio. I'm adding some salt and some pepper. We're gonna let that cook for two minutes until the wine evaporates and cooks down. You don't want that raw wine taste in the dish. Right, that's looking pretty good. And now we're gonna add one can of Campbell's cream of chicken condensed soup. 
And I know it sounds strange, but this lets this stay super creamy, lets it reheat really well without having to worry about it breaking anything based on a cream sauce. Very often if you reheat it and you're not too careful, it'll break really easily. So this reheats even in the microwave really well. And we've got a cup of whole milk. And we're just going to stir it up and let it cook until it thickens a little bit. And you can use your own judgment how thick you like it. cook down a little bit and they'll jump ahead. So I'm just letting it boil at a low boil here. Cook down like I said. And after a few minutes, it's kind of where we want it. And time to take it off. And we'll move on to the making the pie. We're using two Pillsbury pie crusts. They are in the refrigerated section of the supermarket normally. Uh, typically the same aisle that the eggs would be or uh, cheese and they come like this individually wrapped we're going to put one on the bottom and one on top this is a nine inch pie pan this is a deep pie pan so you'll see i'll stretch it out a little bit a regular nine inch pie pan it would just kind of lay right on top and fit fine i'm going to unroll it You want to let this come up to room temperature a little bit before you put it in. Uh, it makes it stretching easier. Uh, it makes the dough a little more pliable. So I'm just going to stretch it around. And get it so that it's up on the lip of the pie pan a little bit. And this is just a Pyrex, a glass Pyrex pie plate, a pie pan. And I go a little tear there, just stick it back together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now that it's all lined, we're gonna spoon in the chicken and vegetable mixture. I'm just trying to move the, the liquid around a little bit, make it a little more even so I can push some of the meat and the vegetables over to that side where I poured in the liquid. And the second crust is going to go right on top and we're just going to pinch around the edges seal it. And I'm just doing a pinched edge. You could take a fork and just use the fork to crimp the edges closed and that's the main thing you're just trying to crimp the edges closed it doesn't have to be super pretty um, you know I'm doing a, a pinched edge here but the main thing is just get it closed
All right, now that it's all crimped and sealed, we're gonna brush the top with a little bit of whole milk. And this is just gonna help it brown. All right, now that the milk is there, I'm just gonna pierce a couple holes in it just to let some steam escape from the top as it cooks in the oven. Then we're just gonna put some parsley on top. If you don't have parsley, this really isn't that necessary. It just looks nice. And now we're gonna put it on a sheet pan in case it does bubble over or any comes out of those holes to make sure it doesn't drip down into the bottom of the oven. So we're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees. The oven's been preheating for a while. And we're gonna set the timer to 35 minutes. Okay, the timer's about to go off. Let's get the pot pie out of the oven and see how it looks. There's the timer. Let's take it out. You can see this is why we use a sheet pan underneath that did spill a little bit out from the side. And we're just gonna let it set up for about 10 minutes. Pie is very hot in the middle right now. And let's cut a piece and see how it looks. First slice is always the toughest slice to take out of a pie or cake. And there it is. All right, let's see how it is. Oh, that's great. Flaky crust, creamy, tender chicken, perfectly cooked vegetables. Please give the recipe a try. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and ring that bell. Ding, ding. Thanks again. See you soon.